Welcome to the Celtic Llama. In today's tutorial, I will be showing you how to crochet a flower. So what you'll want to go ahead and do is start with your slip stitch and we will do multiples of three. So for this, I'm just going to go ahead and crochet 24 stitches. And for a flower, you can make it as huge or as small as you want. So just remember multiples of three. All right, now that we have our 24 chains, we are going to chain five more. So one, two, three, four, five. And then from the fifth chain from the hook, we're going to do a half double crochet. And we got our first little square. So go ahead and chain two. And then in the count two, skip two chains and do a half double crochet in the third chain. And this is how we set up the foundation. So let's do that again. Let's chain two and then skip two and then half double crochet into the third. And it'll end up giving us these really pretty little squares. And that's what we're after for the foundation part of how to make a flower. So half double crochet and do this all the way to the end of the row. All right, last one, one, two, yarn over, half double crochet. And here you'll see me kind of tuck in the tail of my yarn. I just kind of pretend that's part of the regular yarn that I'm pulling through. So it just kind of gives it a nice finished edge. And this is what your first row should look like. A whole bunch of squares. So go ahead and chain one and turn your work. So this is the foundation part for the flower. In the first square, you're going to want to do a single crochet, a half double crochet, and two double crochets. One, two. Then you will chain two and do two double crochets in the same hole. Yep, don't go anywhere. So that's one double crochet, two double crochet. Have some unruly yarn and we'll do a half double crochet. Whoops, that's okay. And a single crochet. And that's the foundation of how you make a petal. So we'll end up doing this across the whole entire row in every single square. So let's do this again. We'll do a single crochet, a half double crochet, two double crochets, two, chain two, and then two double crochets, half double crochet and a single crochet and we move to the next square you can kind of see where it's getting its shape of a petal All right single crochet half double crochet two double crochets one two chain two two double crochets A half double crochet and a single crochet. All right, and here we are at the end of the row in the last square. So a single, a half double, two doubles, two chains, two double crochets. a half double crochet and a single crochet. 
pull out some yarn and give it a snip. And then what you'll want to do is just fasten off your end of your work. So what I do is I pull my yarn through all the way and then that little hole I left, little loop I mean, you pull that through one more time and you've secured off your work. So this is what your petals should look like. Wrong side. There we go. You can kind of see the shape of the flower. So how I end up doing this is first you want to go ahead and thread your yarn through your needle. And what we're going to do is we're going to roll it. So you want to make sure that the tail is down. And you just want to grab the flower petals and just slowly roll them in a nice little loop making sure that that string stays low and doesn't get tangled. So we're going to go ahead and try do this one more time just to show you. So your yarn is down and you just roll the flower petals into a circle. There you go. Pretty easy. So then we're going to flip it over and we're going to stitch the bottom shut going through all the layers of the flower petals. I sped this up because sewing's so much fun. All right, tie it off with a knot and voila, we have a flower. It's not as complicated as it looks and it turns out super cute. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a like, and I hope you have a happy crochet day with your beautiful flower.